Hey guys, it's Fish, and I'm back with another episode of Hearts of Iron 4, The Phoenix Rises Part 2. And in the last episode, continued our offensive through the British Raj, found out just how much population, considering they give you, what, like 0.02% uh, or something like that, um, I'm getting like 80,000 people per province, uh, per uh, state that I'm taking. So I'm, And they're not even the populous states, like these ones down here, 13 million. 32 million, 17 million, 16 million. All I've taken is the 11 million, 13 million. Uh, I think that's the same one. 4 million. That's nothing. That's small potatoes. So we're going to keep this offensive going and hopefully we can knock the British Raj out and, and take a huge chunk of this. And um, how is that going towards our... Uh, we've got 10%. Considering Italy's only got 17%. But they've lost a lot of men. We haven't really lost that many men. We've um we've done pretty well. Done pretty well for ourselves, and it can only get better. So let's continue. If we can lock this pocket off, uh, which I've been trying to do for a little while now, uh, that'd be excellent. There's only one division there now, so hopefully we can just plow right through them. Uh, I think we're ready to deploy our new uh, cavalry here or police units. Let's put him under that. There we go. Now let's have a look at the resistance and see if there is... Uh, there's a bit of resistance over here in Sind. So let's let's include Sind as well. I think that's Sind there. Yep. Okay. Excellent. And they'll just do their police thing. Nine extra units. That's uh, that's beautiful. That should take care of all the problems we're having. Uh, what are we short of uh, resource-wise? Because we are getting a lot of factories now. Uh, we're up to 84 factories. Um, and I do need to start researching... Oh, some of them are damaged. That's alright. Um... Let's see if we can move those damaged ones up first. Bit of damaged infrastructure as well. That should not take too long to fix, actually. Put that ahead of the new stuff. Let it do its thing. Plenty of uh, political power. I'm really disappointed in the US for coming into this war. Although I, Greece, am doing very, very well. Okay. Um, this, this battle is over. Stop. We couldn't do anything about it. Let's let them do their thing still. Uh, can my tanks do something? Yeah, they can. Let's get across this river. They are getting all of these troops out of here, but oh well. I'm still defeating them. Pretty comfortably, actually. Pretty comfortably. Oh, whoops. Now oh, they've all been assigned still. What I wanted him to do was to move forward. Move forward. This one could push for Bombay and actually knock them out right now, probably. This front is far too large, and I really need this pocket to go away. Oh, I'm 
making some offensives, so that's alright. He's not the worst general in the world. They are moving. They're hoping to cut me off. Okay, hold. Bombay is not falling anytime soon. Okay, my tanks are not doing very well anymore. It's a little disappointing. Oh, yep. It's one of my... Let's have a look at resistance now. Beautiful. But I don't know any of that. So my police are doing their job. so desperate for this British Raj to have the manpower I need to challenge the British. And without the British Raj, they're um they're not very strong, I don't reckon. Rajasthan, okay. Let's get my tanks down. Take luck now. Yes, beautiful. That's what I wanted to do. Remove them from that town there. That should give me a, f a bit more manpower, hopefully. Let's take luck now. Luck now is now mine. And they are now having to deal with this bulge. Just as much as I am. British Raj. Um, needs 15 more percent and I'm hoping Bombay gives me that 15 percent. Did it? No, not quite. Four more percent. Okay. Oh, we've cut them off too. This pocket is now dead. D E D dead. You two attack that. And you attack that. It'll hurt for a little while. But overall, they'll um, they'll struggle to hold you off, which they did. He won't. Okay, he's still got some, some supply. Four percent. Come on, British Raj. Still two major powers after this guy, though. Hmm. Actually, where are the points now? I think i got to go for Calcutta. I know there's a point down here. That's a Portuguese one. There's one over here. Uh, Hyderabad. Okay, we're going to delete this one. And assign all of these guys to this new offensive. Do your thing. Almost up 200,000 guys again, which is excellent. And I didn't even have to change my conscription policies. And even the Italians are helping me out now.
They're not even bothering with this one anymore. Uh, yeah, so let's let's assign you to that. And let's extend that forward. And let's have an offensive line that goes for that. That includes you, seven divisions. Go. Make it happen, seven divisions. attack at the same time I'm attacking them. That hurts them. Look at this. This is nuts. Oh, 250,000 troops. Um, man, recruitable men. Oh my god. This is excellent. I'm, I, I I was actually supposed to stop re uh, recording this and move on to something else. But um, I've been enjoying myself so much that I've just continued uh, with this game. Because once once you get going, it's it's pretty good. Doesn't look like the Soviet Union is going to be a thing for us. Uh, it looks like these guys, uh, the Allies, are instead, and these guys are at war with the Allies. But he's not doing anything about them. I wouldn't mind getting him up to a full army either. Now, what are we short of? Medium tanks. Yep. Okay. But everything else is pretty... What are we making? I'm missing equipment production. Oh, one of these was supposed to be medium tanks, I think. Yep, I'm going to change this back to medium tanks. Uh, Mark 2. Let's create a variant of this, actually. Armor, reliability. Can I do anything more than that? Okay, there we go. And that could be medium tank mark one. Done. They're so close to capitulating too. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, British Raj. Oh, they're so close. Come on. We can knock them out of the war if I take this. Because these guys have literally not moved since I've I've joined this fight. Which has been good, because I actually want the British Raj for myself. And I'm getting a ton of uh, participation for it. I'm up to 11% now. The Italians are staying. The Germans are actually losing. They want to capitulate because they're, they're in a bit of strife. So I might have to move some of this army. Well, maybe I'll make another army now that I'm so big. British Raj has capitulated and it's main. Holy hell. I want to see this at the end of the day. How much manpower do I have? Did I... I didn't get more manpower. Okay. Cool. That's a bit disappointing. Now let's keep an eye on the resistance. Okay, so we need to add... Uh, next to Nepal and Nepal. Either side of Nepal. So... There and there. We've got enough troops for it. We do. And then this army can now... Well, are you going to destroy these guys? Or like, are you just going to look at them all day, every day? Because we really need the uh, Japanese to start moving into here. Uh, how many people live here? Six million. Okay, let's go take that. Actually, sure let's all live there. One of you. Lucky sods. Just gonna get to do that. Now, what's the naval situation like? Does not have access to this region. Okay. So we may not be able to do the naval invasion that I want to do. Oh. Such a big empire now. Um, Alright, all 24 of you. 
Make an offensive that goes through here. Just take it all out. Make a move. And then I'm going to go and help the Germans deal with their little uh, issue. Rockets, rocket engines, jet engines. Oh yeah, we really should do that actually. So we've got uh, jet engines. Uh, you've got a pretty good national unity because of George the Sixth. Hmm. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. That's where we'll call the episode. We have defeated the British Raj. That only leaves two more major players in this: the United Kingdom and the United States. The two hardest to get out of this. Um, I don't know how we're going to do it. Um, and I'm tempted to help them with uh, Italy, uh, India as well, <sighs> with Africa as well, because um, that is eating stupid amounts of men. Oh, although they haven't really put anyone there. Look at this. There's no one there. Advance, and you could have it. it could be yours for the low, low price. But there's just literally nothing there. Like, resources. Devoid of resources. That is the resource map. Yep. It is, um... Africa is devoid of resources in this, which is silly. But anyway, um, hopefully... In, uh, thank you very much for joining me, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help the channel. If you're new here, down below you'll find the subscribe button. If you subscribe, you'll get Fish Gaming videos in your YouTube mailbox every single day. Alright, guys. I've been Fish. This has been Hearts of Iron 4, The Phoenix Rises, Part 2. And I'll catch you next time.